In this video, we are discussing OZ workflow. OZ workflow is nothing but sequence of actions to be carried out and represented in the form of directed acyclic graph. Each and every action is dependent on the previous action. If the previous action works well and has its completion successfully, then its output will be going to the next action. So let us go for more detailing about this OZ workflow. The workflow techniques in OZ. So the OZ workflow is a sequence of actions arranged in a DAG that is the directed acyclic graph and these actions are dependent on the previous tasks or actions and one action can run properly if the previous one returns a valid output to it. So workflow actions can be different kind of tasks like our hype task, we can have the big task, we can have the Java action, shell action, etc. So different kinds of tasks it can do the scheduling. In a flow of different sequential tasks, some tasks can be performed in parallel, some tasks can be performed only in sequential. So to execute some task in parallel, we can use the fork option in OZ. So if I want to execute some tasks in parallel, then we will be using the fork option so that they, these two tasks can execute in parallel and later we can go for the join option so that again the tasks will get the sequence will get merged. So the join option is used to merge two parallel tasks into one. So let us discuss this one with one proper diagram. Just find this one. This is the different components of OZ workflow. Just see, here we are having this start, then we are having this MR job that is a map reduce job, we are having this peak job. So two jobs are there, then OZ will do the fork. So as a fork, so these two jobs will be executed in parallel, then join will be there, then it will have the proper completion and end. Nodes in OZ workflow. So there are mainly three control flow nodes in the OZ workflow and they are start, end and the kill nodes. You can find here we are having the start, we are having the end and the kill node. So there are mainly three control flows in our OZ control flow nodes in our OZ workflow. So a workflow can start from the start node and ends at the end node but when an error occurs it moves to the kill node to kill the process because the process has got some interruption. So here you can find here we are having this start. So now this map reduce word count is a process to be executed. So if it faces any kind of error then the kill node will be reached otherwise it will go to the end if the process has got okay with the operation and processing. So this is the basic overview of this OZ workflow and we have explained this one with proper diagram and explanation. Thanks for watching this video.